It doesn't seem real. <clears throat> it's like a, it's a nightmare. A woman from Mounds is dealing with the unthinkable tonight after suicide took the life of her 12 year old son. Kayla Balance agreed to share her story with us in hopes that no other family will have to go through this type of tragedy. News on Six's Cal Day is live with her heartbreaking story. Cal. Greg Lori, Kayla says her son would have turned 13 next month. She calls him an amazing kid and says he had his entire life ahead of him. Kayla Balance searched through pictures and videos of her 12-year-old son, Eli. These memories of him singing and laughing are all she has left of him. He was smart. He was funny. He was kind. He was compassionate. He was very, very giving. Kayla says Eli was in seventh grade and dealt with a lot of bullying. She says she planned to move him to a different school next semester. This was our last Sienna picture. The days before Eli's suicide seemed so normal, filled with Christmas parades, video games, and family time. The last time Kayla talked to him was last Wednesday before school. I told him, I love you. Have a good day. Make good choices. We'll make good choices. I love you too. See you when we get home tonight. Kayla says she is still processing the pain and accepting her son is no longer here. If this is hell, I, you know, could it be any worse? Could actual hell be any worse than this? People packed hospital hallways when Eli's organs were donated to other children. His heart went to a nine-year-old, his lungs to a six-year-old, and his liver to a one-year-old. Those families got the Christmas miracle we were hoping for, that I was praying for. Kayla wears this shirt with the words, pick kindness as a symbol of Eli's love of guitars. She wishes no other family would have to go through this kind of pain. I wouldn't wish this on anybody because it hurts so bad knowing that I'm never going to see my child go to prom. I'm never going to gripe at my child for driving too fast. Kayla wants everyone to know there are resources available to parents and students having to deal with bullying. Her hope is for her child's story to be used to get further, stricter bullying laws passed down the road. Ivan Tulsa, Cal Day, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6. And here's some of those resources right now, because if you know somebody who's in crisis, help is available 24 hours a day. You can call any of these numbers at any time, including the national hotline number 988.